Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Ashley and today we have a very exciting video for you guys. I know I've been MIA here on YouTube for a little bit, but what you guys don't know is I recently moved and we've been um, getting our house together and doing all that type of stuff. So I've been really busy. Also, I'm in school full time and I also am a stay at home mom. So a little busy. But today we have an exciting video. I am going to be doing a what's in my diaper bag. Um, I do have a 15 month old daughter. So typically what you will find in like a bag for a newborn versus a toddler would be a little bit different. So if you're interested in watching that, keep watching. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you notice that the quality is a little different, I am actually using my phone today because my camera died and I just wanted to record the video and get it done with. So that's why I'm using my phone. So don't pay attention to that. But um, usually I use two things for my diaper bag when I'm out with my daughter. Um, I'll either use my purse or I'll use an actual diaper bag. So today I want to show you the diaper bag that I've been using. Um, it's a diaper bag from the company Am and Molly. They actually sent me this bag and I've been using it for a while now and I absolutely love it. Um, it came in this really, really nice um, duster bag. So like if I'm not using it, I can just put it in there and then put it in my closet so it doesn't get like scraped up or anything like that. But this is the diaper bag. It's pretty hefty as you can see. Um, and we're just gonna go over what I keep in my diaper bag. So, <clears throat> like I said, this is the diaper bag. It's pretty big. Um, it carries a lot of stuff. Let's go over the outside of the bag and then we'll go over the inside of the bag. So on the two pockets on the side, you can fit regular size water bottles. Um, they are not insulated, they're just regular um, pockets. Right now I have a Gatorade in there because I was drinking a Gatorade, but usually I'll keep my water bottle, which is like the regular water bottle, 16 out water bottle, or um, I have a 20 something ounce or uh, tumbler that I put in there. And then I usually keep my daughter's water bottle right here. But this side does have the, what is this called? The little zipper piece for if you wanna use your wipes, but I don't do that. And then I just keep her water bottle in there. And she actually uses the eight ounce uh, Dr. Brown's bottle, straw bottle. So that's what she uses and it fits perfectly fine right there. On the back of the bag, they do have this nice little piece. If you guys were, you know, traveling, you can stick this on your suitcase. And then there is an extra pocket here in the back that actually zips closed and I don't have anything in there, but it goes pretty deep. I can stick about this much of my hand in there. So you'll be able to stick certain, certain stuff in there. Mm -mm. Coming around back to the front, if you guys can see that, there is a pocket right across the top of there. And it does, the pocket does go up. So you can put stuff in there. What I usually put in there is like my phone real quick. Like if I'm just running to the store or like running to the doctor's office, I'll just slip my phone right there so I don't lose it. Or I've got to like search around for it or anything like that. Currently in this pocket... I have an appointment slip for my daughter for her next appointment and a receipt from when my husband took his car to get service. So, or I just put random papers, papers in there. Okay, um, on the back here, it does have like a handle where you can hold it like this. I don't really like doing that because depending on how you pack this, it can get kind of heavy. Um, the straps are very cushiony, so I like to wear it backpack style, and it's very comfortable on my shoulders. And then it do have these little straps right here where you can connect it to your stroller. 
I don't really do that. I actually keep D-rings um, on my stroller and then I just use those hooks and carry my bag like that. So it's much easier for me. All right, going around the front, this little pocket right here. And then down in here, I just keep this Aquaphor stick. You guys can see that. It's Aquaphor stick. Don't mind my nails. I'm taking those off. Um, and I actually use it as a chapstick. So, lips dry. I could just put this on. But you can also use it for, like, your skin. Also, in that same pocket, I keep my wallet. Um, this is just like a standard wallet that, you know, holds all my cards and stuff. And sometimes I'll have cash in there and then some keys. And then, let's see. There's a receipt from when I went to Popeye's. And the second pocket here, it opens up. It has, like, these little things on the side so that the stuff won't fall out but I actually have this little pouch in there um, it came in a set I'll show you guys the rest when um, I actually get inside the bag but in here I just keep like two different types of mascara a lip gloss and a chapstick so this is kind of like my mom stuff I guess and then <clears throat> in this pocket here I just keep um, Clorox wipes um, the disinfectant wipes on the go um, there's nine wet wipes in here but I got like a big pack off Amazon um, my daughter has a bracelet that's in there there's a spot right here to hold your pen. So I just have like a pen there because I don't really like using other people's pens when I go places. In this other pocket, I have two hand sanitizers, one regular one, one from Bath and Body Works. And then I just have like a hand lotion from Jergens. Oh, in this front part, there's like a mesh pocket right there. I have a sunscreen for me this is the black girl sunscreen spf 30 and then i have um some blue light lenses that i like to use when i'm doing work on my computer two pockets right here are insulated so if you have a baby who is taking a bottle you can use these to keep the bottles cool keep the bottles warm whatever my daughter doesn't take a bottle so i don't really need that but the nice cool part about this is you can actually remove the velcro in this pocket and take out this entire lining so as you guys can see, the two pockets where I keep my stuff, you can take that out and then you just be left with like more space, like an open space pocket like that. But since I actually use the pockets, I just keep it in there. But I thought that was pretty cool. I never seen a diaper bag do that. So that's a plus. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into the actual diaper bag. At the top here, you have another pocket. Um, in here, I just have a first aid kit. As you guys can see, and then this just has like your gauze, your band-aids, alcohol swabs, that type of stuff. This is actually bigger than what I expected, but you know, whatever. It fits in here perfectly fine, and I like it. I feel like everybody should carry a first aid kit on them whether it's a small one a big one in their car in their purse diaper bag something because you never know um this diaper bag did come with a changing mat this is the changing mat right here you can roll it up and then just snap it close it's padded so it's not like just a. it's padded so it's kind of comfortable 
and it's a decent size if you wanted to lay your baby on that. <clears throat> All right, so this is what the inside of the diaper bag looks like, and these are the rest of the pouches that I talked about earlier. So um, let's go just dig right in. In one of these pouches, I just keep some toys, and these are toys that my daughter does not play with on a daily basis. So I try to get some toys that she's never seen. So if I need a distraction, she will be more intrigued because she never played with these toys before. Or I like to bring some of her favorite toys and put it in there. So that's a bag with toys. I really like this one. It makes like a little noise when you pull it. Okay, so she just has some toys in this pouch here. Um, this other small pouch here, I actually have this for when we go out dining. Um, she has a travel size fork and spoon, even though she doesn't really know how to use utensils as of yet, but we are practicing. So yeah. And then she also has this mat. I believe it's from Munchkin. And it's just a placemat that you put on the table. It's very sticky, as you guys can see. And then you just put it down on the table in front of her while you guys are out to eat. And they don't have to be on the table. Um, I also used to keep some disposable ones. But I feel like this is more cost efficient because you can just wipe it off and put it back in your bag and then you know clean it later when you get home and then i also just have another silicone bib that you just you can adjust the straps and put it on her at the restaurant and you guys just eat your food and by the time you finish eating you just put it back in this bag goes back in your diaper bag and you're good to go all right and this bag here, we just usually keep some snacks. So we'll have like granola bars, cookies, fruit snacks, peanuts, um, the pouches. She loves these pouches. Um, I also keep my snacks in here because I get hungry too. So we have our snacks in here. And if you just fill it up, it usually lasts us like a couple weeks because we usually don't go anywhere. Um, I always keep a um, little blanket because even though it is hot out here in Texas, you know, 100 and something degrees, sometimes establishments will be cold. So um, I just keep this nice, I think this is a receiving blanket. It's very thin, but it's enough to cover her and keep her warm if need be. And then the last thing I keep in here is this bag. And it has all of her diapering essentials. So this bag is big enough. If you had like multiple kids, you could put like different size diapers in here. Um, and it fits perfectly just in there like this. Or it can go in there like that. Um, and in the diapering bag, I keep, I usually keep like four diapers. Even though usually when we go out, I don't ever have to change her. I just change her when we get there. Before we go and when we come back, I usually change her. Um, but yeah, I keep four diapers and then I keep this um, wipe dispenser here. And it just helps you collect one wipe at a time. Sometimes I do take the pack, like the travel size packs. But now I've been getting the really big bulky packs. So it's best to just take some out. And then you just open it up and refill it like that. And then also I have um, this munchkin um, diaper bag thing. And they have the scented Arm & Hammer bag. So if you sometimes go to doctor's offices or somebody's house or something like that. And you don't want to dispose of the diaper in the trash or you're not allowed to. 
you can just put the diaper in one of these scented bags. It will mask the smell of the diaper and then you can throw it away when you get a chance. So I really, really like these. I also have the Munchkin diaper pill with the Arm & Hammer bags. And when I tell you I can't smell anything, I love that thing. Um, I also have a travel size bum, bum coat brush and um, uh, a and D ointment for diaper rashes. She does not really use these. The main thing that we do put on her every day is Aquaphor and she's never had a diaper rash, but I just keep these just in case. And then I do keep a change of clothes. I seen another mom say it's best to bring a dress for a girl. And I think that's absolutely genius. So it's just a regular size dress. And this dress is like a little big on her. So I can keep it in there for a while, like the whole summer and she'll gradually fit better into the dress as the time goes along. Some people put like an ugly outfit that they don't really care about. I just put a dress that's like a neutral color. You don't have to worry about matching. It most likely will go with whatever shoes she's already wearing because it's black. And then it could stay in the diaper bag for a little bit long because it's not a perfect fit. It's like a little bit bigger on her and she'll just grow into it. But it fits good enough that if she wears it, she will look normal. <clears throat> Getting into the rest of the bag, it do have two insulated pockets on the sides here and i have a pair of socks i'm actually going to move the socks into the diapering thing i always keep an extra pair of socks as well and then on the other side of the pocket i have a portable charger um you never know just in case you know something to charge up your phone rather be safe than sorry like i said these two pockets are insulated so you could keep bottles in there but i don't do that it does have this little key thing i keep my keys on there and then in the back here is two more pockets they aren't insulated or anything like that they're just two regular pockets in the back of there and in one of the pockets i have a baby hands um hand sanitizer so Alcohol-free foam and hand sanitizer. So ch -ch -ch. I can use that on her when her hands get dirty out in public. Um, and then another really, really cool part about this bag that I absolutely love. Some moms like to carry wet bags in their diaper bags. Um, so if your baby ever messes anything or you go swimming or something like that, you have a bag to keep your wet clothes in. This bag actually comes with one built into the bag. So if you see right here, <clears throat> you just unzip that and then it, it feels like a plasticky piece in there and you can put like wet stuff in there. I was keeping her diapers in there. So if anything spilled in here, it wouldn't mess up the diapers. But I think that would be awesome if you had like a soiled clothes or something like that. You can just put them in there and then that would be very easy to wipe out. Let me see and i think that is the oh there's one more pocket one more mystery pocket and then there is a pocket straight across the back of here and then what do i have in here i have um this little water wow booklet you basically just take this pen fill it up with water and then they um scribble on like these little coloring pads and it creates like these little pictures for them but it's kind of mess free she hasn't gotten to the age where she likes to color yet like when we go to restaurants she doesn't really play with the color um pencils or the crayons that they give her she's still in like the i want to put everything in my mouth phase so we haven't started using this yet or i will also keep um her tablet she's not really a tablet baby but I do bring the tablet every now and again. So if I want to distract her, I just put on her show and that keeps her quiet. But that is everything that I keep in my diaper bag. If you guys are interested in this bag, it will be linked down below. Am and Molly is the brand and I got it from Amazon. It retails for about 50 to 60 bucks. 
Um, it fits quite a few amount of things in there and it's very stylish. It isn't a bag where you look like you're carrying a diaper bag. You also can, you know, use this after your kids are out of diapers and you want to just use this bag for study or anything like that. School or work, a work bag. I think it's pretty stylish. Um, it's made out of like faux leather. So it's pretty durable, pretty wipeable. It's a nice bag. Now I'm going to repack my bag. And this is my diaper bag from Amin Molly on Amazon. Um, and if you guys are interested in this, make sure you guys click the link in the bio and go and purchase it. All right, guys, that is all for today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. I will wish, I wish